Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. And in this video, we are going to learn a topic called identifier and variable. So friends, if you are watching my video first time and if you want to learn Python, you can go through my channel playlist. In playlist, you can find Python folder where remaining videos are available. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Coming to our topic. So let us start our topic identifier and variable. So first let me start with identifier. So what is an identifier? What is a Python identifier? An identifier is a name given to an entity. Okay, it can be a variable, function, class, module. That means variable, function, class, module are also called as identifier. So all will come under the identifier. So do we have any rules for the identifier? Yes, we have naming rules for the identifiers. Okay, so let us see what are there. First one the rule one okay so name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscore what do you mean by alphanumeric a to z and zero to nine alphabets and numerics okay so alphanumerics and underscore for example you can see here here this is a valid one okay so first example is a valid one second one is a invalid one you can see here i have used underscore here but i didn't use underscore i have used a special character right so that's why it's a not valid one okay so you should use only alpha numeric and underscore that means letters numbers and underscore that's it okay so let us see the second rule identifier must start with a letter or the underscore character okay so you can see here if i type num1 it is accepted because as per the rule we can also give a number in the uh, uh, sorry identifier but the first letter should not be a number this is a wrong one okay so first letter should be a letter or underscore and you can see here it is also valid because underscore name it's valid one but uh, you are giving here what happens we are giving a some uh, a special character at the rate okay so this is not a valid one okay so let us see the remaining rules rule 3 okay identifier must not contains any white space or special character you can see here i have given role number uh, sorry role underscore number so this is accepted but if you give space or uh, you are giving any uh, special character like uh, at the rate dollar it is not accepted okay so you can see here on the left side these are valid identifiers on the right side these are invalid identifiers okay let us see the next rule rule four identifier name are case sensitive for example if i say a is equal to 5 okay so if i print a it will be accepted because i am giving the same a okay so i have taken small a i am giving the small a but here what happens i am giving a capital a so capital a if i give what happens it will consider as invalid because small a is different and capital a is different okay that's the fourth rule identifier names are case sensitive right so let us move to the next two. then what is variable variable nothing but a name given to a storage area that our program can manipulate okay so for example yeah we have a memory right so we uh, we will assign a value to a memory storage area so the storage area instead of calling with the uh, storage number we will call it with a variable name okay so let me show you an example see if i say example a is equal to 50 okay so 50 will be stored somewhere one c 1004 is the storage location so but i cannot call it as a uh, 1004 right every time so instead of that i have given a name that is a okay so the storage name is a now this is a variable okay so the name given to a storage area is variable so why we use a variable so it will help us to make our work easy for example if i want to add i can say a plus b okay if i want to uh, overwrite or if i want to delete also it will be easy right so that's why a variable is name given to a storage area right so do how do we declare a variable so let us see okay so how to declare a variable or assign value okay so generally in c c plus plus and java we will declare variable separately and we have we will assign a value separately but here we can directly assign a value for example you can see here if i say a is equal to 50 automatically it will become an integer if i say b is equal to arun automatically it will become a string 
and if I say C is equal to 55.5 automatically it will become a float okay so you doesn't need to decorate separate sorry you doesn't need to declare separately int a then you can uh, you will assign a is equal to 50 you doesn't need okay so when you assign value automatically it will be declaration of a variable okay so if you assign value automatically it will it will consider as a declaration of a variable so once you declare a is equal to 50 automatically a will be converted into the integer right suppose if you want to declare multiple values okay so single value a is equal to 50 okay i understood b is equal to arun c is equal to suppose if you want to declare multiple statement at a time okay if you want to assign multiple values at a time so let us see see assigning multiple values to multiple variables how when uh, more than one variable is declared in the same statement it has to be separated by comma okay so let us see how we can declare c a comma b comma c 50 comma arun comma 55 c you will get the same output same output individually you have declared here you have declared multiple values at a time here right but the output is same so let us see a small example now i am in a python program so let us see how we can declare and assign a value to a variable so now i will say a is equal to 50 enter nice now a is equal to 50 see i doesn't need to declare just like in a c and c plus plus we will say into a first okay then we will say a is equal to 50 you doesn't need to declare a variable once you assign a value automatically the a will become an integer so now i said a is equal to 50 automatically a has become an integer same way I will declare a variable name is equal to and I will type value as a Arun. Enter. So automatically the name uh, name variable will become a string data type. Same way if I go with the B is equal to 60.5. Okay. Now B variable will become a float. So here we doesn't need to declare separately. If you assign a value automatically the variable will be converted into the particular data type nice right so this is how we declare a variable if it is single suppose if you want to declare multiple variables okay multiple variables with multiple values okay so for example i will say c comma c comma i want to write my name okay c comma my name comma and uh, d okay so i want to say c as a integer i want to declare c as integer my name as a string and d as a what you'll say uh, float okay so i'll say is equal to so you have to use comma to separate the variables okay so now i'll type first what is c right so i'll type 50 okay or 60 i'll say 60 comma next my name so i'll give uh, some vijay some name as a vijay right comma next we have a d right so d i will give as a 66.5 enter nice so let us see whether it work or not so i'll say c it will give as a 60 right if i say my name vijay very good if i say d 66.5 very good so this is how we can declare single variable and multiple variables with multiple values nice right so let us move to the once again to the our topic okay so next coming to our topic do we have any rules for variables yes what are the rules because variables are identifiers so the same rules which we have for the identifiers will be applicable for the variable so let us see what are there rule one same variable name can only contains alphanumeric characters and underscore rule two variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character variable name must not contains any white space or special characters and variable names are case sensitive so let us see some examples so we can understand easily so let us go to the python program now i am back to python program so let us see and let us implement the rules okay and uh, let us check so first what is the first rule a variable mm, sorry a variable can contain alpha numeric and underscore right so let us give uh, alpha numeric and underscore and check whether variable will work or not so what i will do i will say uh, rule number 
okay roll number underscore okay roll underscore number okay so i am using a roll underscore underscore is equal to 50 enter very good it it is not showing error nice so it has worked right suppose if i give any space roll underscore roll space number is equal to 60 enter see now it is giving a syntax error of course i have given a vo okay so even if i give no it will give a syntax error because white space will it will not take so let us give some other special characters suppose if i type roll at the rate of number is equal to 70 enter see still it is showing the error because it will not accept any other special character other than the underscore it will not consider uh, even the space and uh, there is another rule that it should start with either letter or number sorry uh, underscore for example if i already we have given roll number right so i have started with the r so let us give underscore and start okay so underscore name i will give underscore name is equal to arun okay right it has accepted suppose if i give five name let us see i will type five name five name is equal to vijay underscore this time it will show the error see why as per the rule we should not start a name with a number okay you can start with underscore or you can also start with a letter okay but you should not start with a uh, what do you say number or any other special character even if i take at the rate of name also we can see i will show at the rate okay uh, of course it uh, any other alphabets are not allowed so i will let us see once name is equal to some once again vijay see again it's showing the error right so what are the rules we have it should be alphanumeric and underscore okay so it should not contain any space or any special character and the name should start with the what we said either underscore or letter okay it should not start with a number okay so let us see an another example uh, of a case sensitive for example i will type a is equal to 50 okay now i will try to print a right it is showing 50 suppose if i try to print capital a what it is saying see it cannot uh, it cannot find a okay so what it what do you mean by that it is differentiate between lower case and upper case it is considering lower case separately and upper case separately so friends keep practicing thank you